Hi friends, welcome back to All Things Kawaii. Today is going to be a collective haul of some really cute things that I've picked up over the past month or so. Um, I have some things from Five Below, a lot of Sanrio items, which I've been seeing all over TikTok, so make sure to watch it through so you can see what I found. Um, I have some items from Target, um, a couple things from Kinokuniya, some random things from Forever 21, and then a couple other little PC items that I wanted to share with you. So with that being said, if you love kawaii things, if you love Sanrio as much as I do and hauls in general, consider subscribing and let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, so first off I'm going to be sharing with you the random little miscellaneous items that I have picked up. Um, so the first two items are actually a gift for my fiance. He got these for me from Macari. Um, if you don't know what Macari is, it's just like a reseller's website, kind of like um, Poshmark, Depop sort of, but you can sell anything collectibles, clothing, houseware, whatever. Um, but he got me these two Sumiko Garashi little plushies. He got me this little Tokage, which he does not have the tag. Um, so I don't know what series he's from, but he's a Sumiko Garashi Tokage and he's still super cute. And then the main thing, the main reason he bought me that one is because he came with this little itty ebby plush keychain which i know this is from a blind box that they sold at daiso or i wonder if they still sell it i don't know um but i had the um tonkatsu and i've been wanting the ebi and i kept getting everything but ebi so he sold this on makari i believe both of them i think they were like 12 dollars or 13 dollars something like that but i have a little ebi plush finally so i'm happy that i can say I have um, Ebi to go with my tonkatsu plush keychain. Anyway, um, and then speaking of tonkatsu, this actually I found in the back of a shelf with all my little like haul stuff that I save for videos. This is actually from KameaCon last year, guys. Literally last year. It was just in the back tucked away. And it's a itty bitty tonkatsu vinyl figure, but it's like a little travel series. And this was $6.00. Um, and then these are the four that they did have in this series and they come with like a little poster But I'm really excited to open this up I, I literally forgot about this. So it was like a nice little surprise. It always comes with gum Got this little pink gum here and um, It's a little vinyl figure. Oh my god. It's so cute Here's Tonkatsu with the little camera. He's got a little hat and then in his backpack we have Ebi it has like a little hole here on the bottom. It could be like a little finger puppet. Is it a finger puppet? I don't think so. But look how adorable he is. I freaking love Tonkatsu. So I'm happy that I have him. And it was just a nice little surprise to find him randomly. Okay. Um, and then these are from Michaels, which I did get some stationery, but I will not be sharing the stationery in this haul. I like to keep the stationery with the stationery. Um, but these are two color changing LED tea lights. A friend of mine actually had some of these and they looked really cool and she said she got them from Michaels. They had them on sale for a dollar, I believe. Um, but look how huge these tea lights are. Normally tea lights are way smaller. This is like a really good size and they're supposed to change different colors, which I thought was really cool. Um, yeah, so anyway, random, but it's a pretty cool item that I found. So if you like adding lighting to your room for ambiance or whatever, check out Michaels, they were a dollar. And I think they have them all year round because they're by that Ashland brand. Um, and then speaking of some other little lost items, well, one lost item. This is actually from Tessa, or no, Tessa Tesso, I don't remember. Um, in my last, one of my last hauls that I did um, for Kamea Con, I think it was part two when I went to all those other random shops. Um, I showed you what I got at Tessa, which is like a Japanese kind of like, Kind of like a cvs or walgreens just without the pharmacy but they have snacks they have beauty products stuff like that i got this fake little rilakkuma fork and i forgot to put it in that haul so i just decided to put it in this one to show you but look how cute it's not a real rilakkuma it's not licensed this was 99 cents but i thought it was a cute little fork just to have so i got him and then i got this cute little plush that was gifted to me by my friend and i just could not not show it to you guys because it's so cute and it's a little itty bitty bunny plush by lint lint the chocolate store um in my hometown actually closed and she still loved that store but she gave me this little bunny a while back actually and um it's supposed to resemble the little chocolate bunnies that they had i think during easter i believe but they had a ton of them for like a dollar two dollars on sale um and it has like a little red bow he's so cute um, so anyway, I love plushies, but make a miniature 
I love it even more. Okay, also I forgot to show you um, the little tonkatsu vinyl figure it comes with a little like backdrop, which is so cute. And you basically just put him in front and he kind of just like sits there with a the little backdrop, which is so cute. So I almost threw it away because I have the packaging right here and I was like, wait, what is this? And it's a little backdrop. Um, okay, so those are the random little items. Um, but anyway, so from Kino Kunia, I only have three things to show you from there. But I got a manga, and this was $10, and it is Kaiju number eight. Um, this is volume two. If you have not read this, it's so good, guys. It's so good. I haven't read the second volume yet. The first one was really good, very promising, and I heard that they are going to actually make it into an anime this upcoming year, I believe, so I'm very excited about that. But yeah, if you love reading manga and you want to check out a new one, check out Kaiju. So they have that and I'm excited to read it. Um, and then a little blind bag and I was more intrigued by the packaging because it's like a little rice ball. And this was $8. Um, Kino Kuni has really good, cute blind boxes and blind bags. But look at it. It's a little rice ball. So cute. And you open it up and it has a ring. This is the one that I got which isn't the one I wanted, but I believe it's like seaweed or something with like sesame seeds. It is adjustable, but it fits on my pinky. So I thought that was really cute. The one I wanted was this one, the salmon row. I think it's salmon row. But yeah, I got the cute little, I mean, the container just is totally worth it. I could put like little um, bits and bobs inside of it. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. Um, and then the last thing from Kino Kunia is just this adorable little My Melody plush keychain. She's just like a little ball. She's so cute. Um, and this is the tag. And she was $7. They had a lot of um, the Sanrio characters. They had Pom Pom, they had Cinema Roll, Hello Kitty, but I decided to just get a cute little miniature My Melody. Um, so yeah, so that's from Kino Kunia. Now next up is a couple of things from Shop Misse. I made like the smallest order ever in the entire world a while back, and um, I got this package not that long ago, but I just picked up some earrings um, by Melody, and they're just silver heart hoops. For some reason, I always, gravitate towards hoops like if I'm gonna go somewhere really quickly and I don't really want to dress up and I just want to wear like a graphic tee and some like sweatpants and sneakers or something I feel like adding a little hoop adds a little something to the outfit it makes it look like I kind of like put a little bit of effort into it but make them hearts absolutely adorable and these are only a dollar and they have nice weight to them too so they don't feel cheap and then I saw these hair clips for a dollar I needed these for sure I mean I just needed it because of the french fries like look how cute they are they're like plastic and they have glitter but i'm not fond of that smiley face at all and it does come with these little like daisy clips and these little hair ties which i don't really care for so i'll just give this away to a friend or something um and then this one has popcorn how adorable is that look at popcorn clips it's so cute and then it has the same clips with the little hair ties but yeah those were only a dollar says it's by the brand princess accessories which they do carry a lot from that brand at shop missy and then the last thing was this dollar rainbow highlight that i have been looking for i've been wanting a rainbow highlight to try out just to kind of play around with it and it looks like this the packaging is pretty cool but this highlight first of all crumbles like you would not believe you could tell here i've already like swatched it it just crumbles it hold on i'm gonna try to swatch it for you guys look at that it's like beyond powder like how powdery that is it's so powdery but you can see the rainbow and it's super shiny I'm trying to blow off the excess um oh my god it's gonna get all over my white desk um the thing about this highlight y'all it smells so bad and i was so disappointed it's very powdery so there's that and it smells like it's gone like bad like it's expired so i'm still on the lookout for a nice cute inexpensive rainbow highlight so if anybody has suggestions let me know but i'm very sad about that i mean it looks cute on the hand like look at that it's just too crumbly and it smells <laughs> okay um also i was going to mention about the highlight i don't want to throw it away because i feel like it's such a waste but i'm obviously not going to put it on my face but i've actually seen some people use this um in like journaling or crafting kind of almost like like loose pigment sort of um 
I think I believe I got a comment from somebody on one of my videos that they were going to use some of the pigments or eyeshadow palettes I believe from Dollar Tree I really don't remember who it was but I know they commented that and I was like you know what I've actually heard of that and that's actually a really good idea so I'm probably going to use it for that instead of throwing it away because it's pretty it's just you know I guess I don't need to use that much and maybe I could like use it on something for journaling or crafting wise I don't know let me know your thoughts um all right so I have one thing from Burlington I was going to say Burlington Coat Factory. That was our old name from Burlington. I went um, last weekend and um, random item, but it's cute. It's a, it's a llama swirl pop, reusable cup. Well, it has llama swirl pops in it. You can kind of see it, but it has llamas all over. It's just like a little like reusable cup. It was such an impulse buy. I didn't find anything there. It was $2.49 and I was like, oh, cute. I'm going to buy it impulse buys they always get you um anyway so from forever 21 i only got these cute little llama socks i am a sock person for sure and these were two dollars i remember when their socks used to be like a dollar fifty a long time ago of course but they have like little cactuses on there and then i got these sheet masks because i actually like forever 21's sheet masks they're only one dollar um so this one is cucumber um refresh and condition your sensitive skin this one is lavender, purify and tone your oily skin. And then aloe vera, moisturize and nourish your dry skin. And they're $1. So I love sheet masks. And then random little like glitter gel thing by Lavender Stardust. It's a roll on shimmer face and body and hair. You get one fluid ounce and it was originally $10, but it was actually on sale for a dollar. And I thought it was cool. I have one that has like iridescent glitter and it's like clear and, um, I think it's so fun. <laughs> this would be fun if you're going to like the beach or something or like the pool and you want to like look extra cute or a festival, of course, or like a concert, roll on glitter. And it goes with the like Y2K vibes. I don't know. And I like the blue. I thought it was really pretty. Okay, moving on. I have these three little Amuse plushy keychains um, that are from Think Geek. Rest in peace, Think Geek. Um, I think they closed. Um, because um, GameStop is starting to include more like figures and collectibles, which is what Think Geek was basically was. Um, and uh, it's owned by GameStop. So they had to sell a while back and I got these cute little plush keychains. They were $3. Um, I got the cute little sea turtle. <laughs> He's so cute. They have like little beans inside of them. But yeah, they're like little keychains. I got the cute little like squid little turquoise squid but like they're so adorable how could you not want those and then this little penguin is really cute and um you can't even see the tag behind this i don't know what aquarium aquatic it says aquatic so it's the aquatic series are these by muse yeah they're by muse <laughs> So anyway, I got those from Think Geek. And then I also went to the store called Lovisa a while ago and they sell jewelry. They have really cute jewelry. Um, I'm a earring person. I mean, I like all types of jewelry, but I love earrings. Something about, you could put just like a t-shirt and jeans or a dress and you just put on a really cute statement pair of earrings and it just makes the look come together. They had to sell. All these earrings were $4 on sale. Um, so the first pair are these little hoops. They're like a black plastic hoop and they have these gold like stars on it. They're like starbursts or sunbursts, I think is what they're called. And they have little like clear rhinestones inside. These were originally $14, but they remind me of something from like Gucci from like the nineties or something. And then the next pairs are great for summer, which is just around the corner. These earrings spoke to me. I loved this like bright corally orange color. Um, they have like these metal flowers with gold detailing and rhinestones. And then it has like the opaque rhinestones here on top. And then it has like raffia material. And it kind of like fans out. These are really cute. Those were originally $14, but four bucks, adorable. Like that with like yellow, I love that. And then some more raffia earrings. These are blue flower statement earrings. And they have like little glass seed beads with like I think it's like gold thread and then blue rhinestones in the center but they are little flowers these were originally $14 but these look they're obviously like a statement pair of earrings but they're gonna be very lightweight because they are made out of that raffia material 
and the next ones are made out of like glass seed beads and they're for sure going to be heavy because they are glass seed beads and they're like little tassels but they have like that turquoise like a white iridescent and this really pretty like periwinkle blue and they're on post so they should be a little bit more comfortable but these are really beautiful i love those i actually need to de-stash my jewelry collection because i have so much that i've had for years and years um and i just you know how do I say it? Like, I guess I'm over it. <laughs> I don't, I mean, that sounds really bad, but you know what I mean? Like it's time to let go of some items, use them, enjoy them out with the old in with the new. And then the last pair are these really cool, like face earrings, kind of weird, right? But they're gold metal face earrings. And then they have little pearls here on the top. This one's kind of like twisted. There we go. They look like that. Um, and those were originally $11, but yeah. If you're looking for inexpensive, cute jewelry, check out Lovisa if you have one. I think that's how you say it, Lovisa, Lovisa. That's how it looks, Lovisa. <laughs> okay, next up I have the last two stores, which is pretty much most of the stuff is where I got from. I got from Target and, for, and Five Below, I mean. I like got tongue tied there for a second. Um, but anyway, so from Target, I found this really cute pastel scrunchie. It was a dollar. Impulse buy again, but it has a little tie and I just thought it was really cute. It's pastel and it's like tie dye. And then I also got these socks. I love Target socks. They have such cute ones. This one has a goose wearing an apron with a grocery cart. Like a gross, like, I don't know, like a little grocery worker. I don't know what, like, at first I thought it was a dress, but then I was like, no, that's an apron. I like this, uh, the color that they used in the background. It's like a gray green color. It's weird, but yeah, it's by Acceleration, low cut socks. They fit size four to 10. And these I think were $1.50 or $1.75. I don't know, it doesn't say, but I got those. And then I got the cute little llama, of course, with the cup of coffee and it has like olive green with mustard yellow polka dots. And um, this is me having my cup of coffee after my five dogs just made a mess everywhere <laughs> and I'm stressed I'm like I just want to sit down have some coffee enjoy some silence for a little bit <laughs> before they start making more of a mess um yeah if you love your coffee you know what I mean um anyway and then I got this hand sanitizer by up and up and it's a rather large hand sanitizer it has like a little holder which has a llama on roller skates I mean need I say more so cute and this is i think it's like aloe vitamin e it has two fluid ounces of course when i use up the um, hand sanitizer in this i will refill it again because i'm not gonna throw it away um and then what a llama stuff i just realized that um i saw this color and activity pad there was only one so it was meant to be it was 2.99 on sale from six dollars you get a 30 page coloring pad a sticker sheet three double-sided crayons so these are the crayons they have little llamas on it which i'm not going to use just just because they're cute but we have a llama face here and then you open it up and it has these stickers right there they're really colorful look at this one she's so happy and then yeah it's just literally dot to dot llama llama themed oh there's like a unicorn in here what is a unicorn doing in a llama themed coloring book that's look how cute this is and the thing i like about it is that they are one-sided so i could use markers on it without worrying about it um what's it called bleeding through but that's kind of an overview of it it's by Binden, the brand but yeah another impulse buy we love impulse buys here Okay, next up are the last three items from Target. Okay, I'm trying to put some of the stuff down here. Well, I found a Sanrio shirt at Target. And again, I saw this on TikTok. TikTok made me buy it, which has been happening a lot recently. TikTok has made me, has opened my eyes to a world that I really don't need to know about because I do not need to be buying more things, but I can't help it. Um, it is a Sanrio shirt. Let me zoom out here so you can see a little bit better. It's like this lime green color, but we have the little twin stars, Batsmaru, Hello Kitty, My Melody, Pom Pom, Choco Cat, Cropey, and it says Hello Kitty and Friends. Um, this is just a regular graphic tee. It is cropped, like slightly cropped, like a boxy fit. Um, and yeah, I'm here for it. Um, I got a size large and it was $14.99. Well worth it. So if you are a Sanrio, you know what I mean? 
check out Target because you need to add this to your cart. It's so cute. So I love it. Yeah. Um, anyway. And then the next two things are actually from Turning Red, the movie. And um, yeah, it's a new Disney Pixar movie, which have had has had kind of like mixed reviews. I personally loved it. I thought it was really cute. Um, and Target has released a collection with them a little while ago. And um, not in all Targets, though, because my local Target did not have anything from this collection. I had to go to one in Austin. I think it was Austin or New Braunfels. I don't remember. But this is one thing that was on my list. And it's this doodle and sketch pad. And I liked how they did kind of like a pastel kind of version. It comes with over 100 stickers. It has like a little fuzzy heart here. But yeah, it's this little sketch pad. Like look at the print in the inside. How cute is that? And it just has different like little pages to color. And I love coloring. I'm 28. I still like coloring and coloring books. It's a nice way for me to kind of unwind or if I'm like a little stressed or if I don't want to think about something too much, like I don't want to do like a craft or I don't feel like journaling or something. I love coloring. It's a really nice way to kind of relax, but yeah, there's that. And then here's this back part. So cute. And then these are the stickers. They have like laser foiling, but like how cute is that? Adorable. Yeah. This was, I think, $10. I think it was $10, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'm happy that I was able to find that. And then I also found the plush. This was the last one too, so it was meant to be. And this was $10 as well. It is the um, pencil case. Whoop. How cute. See, they, they did like a lavender colored thread in the eyes. The, like the little felt ears are super cute. That's the tag for turning red. And yeah, it's just a simple little... Um, pencil case or if you use it for makeup or whatever and has purple lining in it or purple liner in it but yeah so that's all from Target okay the last store is some stuff from Five Below and mind you again this is from multiple trips like probably like three trips um and different from Five Below locations to find a lot of these things um also I wanted to mention the turning red items at Target I am also on the hunt for this like furry journal set that has like, I think it's two pens it comes with, like fluffy pens. Um, and I didn't find it that time I did go to the Target and um, hopefully it can, but anyway. Okay, so from five below, I'm gonna show you the largest item. This was $5 and it is a, I don't know, how am I gonna show you guys this? This thing is so freaking huge. It is a giant coloring and activity pad. I saw this again on TikTok five dollars this huge coloring pad it is like half like okay how tall am i i'm five one it goes like upper like mid thigh that's how tall this thing is it's huge um but yeah it's just a huge coloring pad and it comes with all these stickers which is so sick you know what i think i'm gonna lay this flat here for a second and then let me show you zoom in here so these are the stickers that it comes with love all the pastel colors like look at hello kitty she's so cute this one hello kitty drink is adorable all the different candies and stuff i was so happy when i saw this they had like a stack of um oh look there's a drink so cute a stack of um of these so i was really happy i was able to find it but yeah if you're a hello kitty fanatic or you just love sanrio at the tier five below wish list because it's there um and then next up i got these scrunchies i love these because of the material they're not staticky they're not too tight so this one's like a tie-dye pastel version it has like purples yellows these were only one dollar by the way and they're very good quality scrunchies and then this one is like blue and like turquoise it reminds me of a pool like i don't know it's cute so anyway, i got those for a dollar and then the next thing is another sanrio item and it is something else that was on our list also on tiktok and it is a hello kitty and friends puzzle and it's like a little town scene that's how it's supposed to look i know when i'm when i'm done doing this puzzle i want to frame it i've never framed a puzzle but that's something you definitely want to frame get 300 pieces wait hold on bonus puzzle poster it comes with the poster i didn't even know that Puzzle size, okay, the puzzle size is 18 inches by 24 inches. 
Yeah, so it does come a puzzle poster includes a fun search and find list too. That's cute. I love that. Oh my God, look at Pom Pom. So adorable. I did not know that it came with the poster, but it does. So that's a five below. It was $5. The next thing, I actually got two of them on accident. It was on accident, um, but whatever. It's cute. Like I go through journals like you would not believe, so it's fine. But it's this pastel Hello Kitty and Friends journal, which I've seen at Hot Topic being sold for, I think it's like 15 or 16, $5 at five below. It's like a really nice plastic. Like this is like the divider, the Hello Kitty like ramen cup. And then it has like these little tabs on the top. And this is how the paper looks. Hello Kitty with the little planet and it's just lined. The next tab, we have the Hello Kitty and Friends um, arcade, which is my favorite thing or crane game. And there's that little My Melody, the little um, plush keychain I got at Kino Kunia. And then the next tab is a little pom pom purin tab with different like snacks and drinks, very aesthetic. And then we have a little twin stars. This seems like a little like capsule gumball machine themed one. Absolutely adorable. And then the last one is Choco Cat Kawaii Tokyo. And then it has a little drink with the Hello Kitty cup. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, so I'm very happy I was able to find that. And that's how it looks on the back. Um, but yeah, I accidentally got two of them because I was like at one and I was like, wait, do I have that? I don't remember. Sounds so bad, <laughs> but it's fine. I'll use it. Um, there's another one that has, p it's all pink and it has just Hello Kitty on it. So I'm still looking for that one. But anyway, so that's available. Um, next up, I found this sticker book by Pip Sticks. Color your own stickers. 600 more stickers to design, color, and customize. This is volume two. Um, so this one's literally just like, paper it's not matte it's not shiny not holographic um but yeah make it colorful spark your creativity with these super fun super customizable stickers each black and white sticker design is a blank canvas perfect for dreaming up cool patterns unique color palettes and special details with more than 600 all new stickers inside this collection inspires you to let your imagination run wild and create your perfect stickers i love this yeah so i have the first one and i really like using that one so just do a quick little flip through here. Got little backpacks, the cute little cakes, the llama and some stars, cassettes, emoji balloons, these like little tassel things, candy, little gummy bears and chocolate bars. It's really cute butterflies. This is cute to customize. You can make like a little design on the jacket. And we have different like vehicles, a little narwhal with flowers, some cats, some uh, gemstone hearts, dinosaurs, gotta have dinosaurs, fruits, um, this cute little star, shooting star some crowns those are cute but yeah you just color them in with this little sloth or you could leave them black and white which I've used a couple just black and white that one has like different um get this little sundae um suns and clouds it's a manatee is it a manatee love the disco balls and these are just like those are strips we got some like polka dots or some like grid dots think about what could be right or what could go right <laughs> little dogs oh my god look at the pug this little heart here you can customize love this one with the mushrooms of course got little like gifts and bows this cute little mermaid sunglasses, some cute little robots, this little cat with the cupcake, let's do this, nobody's perfect, this cute little phone with some speech bubbles, I love this postage stamp one, you can design your own, that's really cute, and some little like plants, cacti, 
And then this one says later haters. Super cute. But yeah, $5 at five below, over 600 stickers. I think it's a great deal. Okay, next up, we have some more Sanrio items. Um, I also did get this Hello Kitty Paint Your Own Planter. It comes with a personalized with five colorful paints and a bonus glitter. So it just looks like that. Yeah, it comes with cute little paints. Um, I don't know if I'd actually put a plant in it. I don't know, might use it for something else, for just decoration, but I thought that was really cute for five bucks. So I got that. They also do have one that's like a ceramic Hello Kitty and like you grow crystals on it. I did not get that one because I heard some bad reviews about it saying that the crystals don't grow right and it just ends up ruining your little Hello Kitty. So, and it wasn't just like a couple bad reviews. It was like a lot. So that's why I was like, oh. You know, I know it's $5, but I'm like, I don't wanna like waste $5 for it to just get ruined, you know? So I was like, whatever, it's fine. Um, and then, oh, I also got this cute little Zenitsu magnet. He's super cute. And he was $3.50. They had a lot of anime magnets. Five Below is de definitely getting on the anime trend because, or the ha anime bus, I would say, like a lot of other stores, because they're realizing, wow, it's really popular. We can make a lot of money if we start selling more anime merch and things like that so they have like their own little like anime section at five below and i'm loving it um and then the last sanrio item is another item from tiktok and it is the little ukulele <laughs> so this was five dollars but yeah it's a ukulele fun and easy to play make real music it's tunable hello kitty and friends ukulele and it's the claw machine one and pom pom is um the claw chose pom pom Perrin. They also had like a mermaid beach hello kitty, um, but I decided to get just this one. Maybe I'll learn to play ukulele. It's more like a collectible item, to be honest. It's really cute and keep it in the box or take it out. But um, they had these actually behind the registers, which is crazy. And the cashier told me, she's like, yeah, because everybody's been looking for these on TikTok. From TikTok, I mean. So they put it behind the counter, which is crazy to say. Um, but anyway, next up is this adorable boba, cute and cuddly, eight inch food plush. And she's super cute. It's like, I don't know. She's really fuzzy and soft, but there's a little straw. They got the little um, embroidered um, bobas, which is so cute. They also have a sushi burrito and a cookie, which is so cute. I can't, adorable. Um, and then the last thing in this haul is a turning red, um, red panda plush also from tiktok <laughs> i hate tiktok guys i need to delete it because it's ridiculous the things it makes me buy but like how cute five dollars they also have one at build a bear but of course that one's going to be definitely more expensive but if you want a cheaper version five below five dollars super adorable all right, friends, so that is everything in this Kawaii Collective haul. I'm obsessed with all the Sanrio items that I found at Five Below, so definitely add those to your list if you're a Sanrio lover and that Target shirt. And if you love turning red, check out Target. Um, but yeah, I got some cute earrings for summer. Um, I got a rice ball. I've got a little um, Ebby plush. Um, a disgusting highlighter that I'll use for crafts <laughs> and stuff. And I'm excited about that manga. But anyway, let me know down below which items are your favorites and which items will you be adding to your wish list. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Give this video a big thumbs up if you do like it. If you love Sanrio as much as I do, it really helps out my channel. So I appreciate it in advance. Thank you. And turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. My TikTok, my Instagram are in the description. So give me a follow if you would like. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for spending some time with me. Stay quiet, and I'll see you next time.